Health Edge, a pretty sweet discovery. We're talking about maple syrup. Not only is it tasty, great with pancakes and waffles, but apparently it could be, could be a cure for Alzheimer's disease. This is great stuff. Yeah, Dr. Nandy here with a look at what scientists are revealing. You've got a patient, Neil, who's going to love this one. Yeah, Neil, <laughs> Neil uh, loves Glenda, so thank you for that shout out. I appreciate it. You know, it's finally some good news, right? So something wonderful people like maple syrup may prevent the clumping and misfolding of brain cell proteins, which uh, would build up and cause plaques that can trigger Alzheimer's, research the American Chemical Society said. So it's important news, and finally, you know, people are getting some good news. All right, a couple of things. How much and how does this actually keep from that misfolding. Yeah. So it's still in, in its research stages, so we don't know how much, but the maple syrup, the stickiness of the maple syrup is what they're saying is stopping this dangerous folding. So more research needs to be done. Uh, but prescriptions, my prescriptions for what? Preventing Alzheimer's. Regular exercise, we talk about this. Exercise stimulates the brain's ability to maintain old connections as well as make new ones. Secondly, a healthy diet. The Mediterranean diet can help reduce inflammation and promote energy production in the brain. Also, mental stimulation. Stop looking at that phone only and then do activities that inc involve multiple tasks or requiring communication, integration, and organization. Offer great stimulation to the brain to keep it sharp. Quality sleep. Sleep is very important. If nightly sleep deprivation is slowing your thinking and affecting your mood, you may be at greater risk of developing symptoms of Alzheimer's. So it's important, you know? So it's the stickiness. That's fascinating. Oh, yeah. People are smart. You mentioned the Mediterranean diet. What other foods can help? So they're talking about other foods such as green tea, red wine, berries, curcumin, and then also pomegranate for their potential benefits to combat Alzheimer's. So the natural stuff, which is, which is really nice, instead of just taking pills. Fascinating study. Before we go, we do have a viewer question. A uh, viewer wants to know, she had a second colonoscopy three years ago. The doctor found pockets. She was told not to eat corn, nuts, or seeds. Uh, now she wants to know if this includes things like almond butter or almond milk. It's a great question. So again, please keep those questions coming. A couple of things. Number one, it was an old recommendation of those pockets. Those pockets are called diverticulosis. So we used to say don't eat any nuts and seeds. Now we know you can have them in moderation. Don't go crazy. Have a pound of them because some of these patients can actually have problems. If you have popcorn, have it in moderation. Don't have a big bowl. Secondly, you know, the, the, if you have other products like almond butter, fine to take. Just Important with diverticulosis, have lots of fiber and lots of water. So important question, and I think that uh, uh, we helped her out. She can have the almond butter she wants. So with the nuts, it's the actual nut or seed, not the milk or the butter that can well, it's be made just, from it? Even the nuts, you can okay. have moderate amounts. It used okay. to be that people thought, well, it gets stuck in those pockets. It's not really true. Don't have a, a huge amount of them, but in moderation, should be perfectly fine because nuts have great health benefits as well. That's good to know, yeah. Doc. Yeah. I'm going to have maple syrup. <laughs> Tomorrow in your morning. morning. We'll have <laughs> maple syrup and <laughs> with <everything>. waffles. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doc. My pleasure. Well, if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com. Send it to us, Facebook, Twitter, email, a phone call. We'll get it to him.